Hello and welcome to uh, today's video. I'm sorry the image isn't very good. I think it's something to do with the light. I'm in my motorhome. I'm located in or close to Wrocław, Poland. I uh, came here yesterday from Fulda in Germany. Or, um, rather, I came here this morning. I travelled yesterday from Fulda in Germany to Skorzelets in Poland. And uh, then I, I, I drove here. Um, this being a, um, a live broadcast, uh, obviously you can ask anything you want during it. I'm going to talk about uh, Queen Elizabeth and uh, this a bit not normally the sort of thing uh, I would do. Although for those of you who have actually seen my introductory video, I say uh, in which I state that my interest in history started because my grandmother bought me the books, the book, the uh, books, yeah, uh, the Kings and Queens of England. Part one, and my grandmother and I bought with my own money, um, I, or I, I, I don't know where I got the two and six from, uh, or 15 pence, whatever it was, um, uh, to buy the second uh, book, or somebody bought it for me anyway. So I can tell you the names of all the kings and queens of, of, uh, of uh, England, England, and most of them, I think, of Scotland, uh, for the last 1,000 years. However, who, what the names of the grandchildren of Queen Elizabeth II were, I can't tell you. In fact, uh, I, I, I don't know. So people ask me how members of the family are getting on. I, I really haven't got a clue. Apart from that, they don't tend to tell me these things. If you saw the avatar for this video, for this uh, live, uh, then you will have seen there's a photograph. And if you look really close to me, you put a good pair of glasses on and get a magnifying glass out, you will see that the Queen's in there. And I took that photograph on the 29th of July, 1981. And that was the day of the wedding of Charles and Diana. Anyway, I think I might speak about that a little bit more in a short while. Queen Elizabeth II, um, one last thing she did, was to welcome in the new Prime Minister, Liz Truss, who was born 11 years, if, I, if I've got her date of birth correctly, or 10 years, if I've got it incorrectly, after the death of the first Prime Minister that she welcomed. So the first Prime Minister that she welcomed was Winston Churchill, and the uh, very last one was Liz Truss. So you've got this huge span, uh, 70 years. I, like everybody else in the United Kingdom, have known no other, or just about everybody else, I should say, have known no other monarch. Indeed, uh, you've got to be over 70 years old or 71 years old and um, to actually um, to, to know uh, anything about it. Yes, I see Russia is bad. I agree with that one. It's not, it's not looking so good. Is it a bad man in Russia? Yeah, I agree. Um, so, um, the Queen, Queen Elizabeth II, from, I'm not particularly royalist, but I actually believe that the royal family is a good thing because I think it is a um, it's sort, of, it's sort of it's a democratic protection and the, the worst theoretically, the, the monarch has to sign off on all laws. I think the last time that the monarch actually refused to uh, uh, sign off on the law was uh, the, gra um, uh, the grandfather of the uh, of the Queen, uh, George V. I think there was something related to his, his wages or something, which he refused to, uh, um, to, to, to sign. Hello, hello, Dave. So um, for me personally, when I saw that the, I got the news of her death, when I saw a friend of mine's Facebook, uh, message. He was sort of arguing for a republic, and um, uh, then I understood that the Queen had died, and Gungi thought the Queen has done an excellent job, and so I understood. That's how I found. That's how I actually found out. Um, and I am not in tight. I'm not particularly into all this pomp and circumstance, but I have to say that two of uh, two great experiences of my life were the the wedding of Charles and Diana, which took place on 29th of July 1981, and I was in London for that. Um, I went to to see the wedding of um, Fergie and who, who was that? Edward uh, in 1986. Although that wasn't that wasn't so good as the three that the other one. And I went to the wedding, and I've got the video of it on my website of from 2011. 
of the royal wedding day. Uh, in, in the uh, latter two uh, occasions, I didn't see the happy couple, and um, uh, but uh, I, I did see uh, the the uh, happy the happy couple or the unhappy couple in uh, 1981. Now, um, I, uh, so uh, I haven't taken an interest in sort of the scandals around the royal family, uh, but um, I can understand, however, that, uh, that I think that the Queen really did do a very good job. Uh, her um, uncle, Edward VIII, uh, who was only king and never crowned uh, for, uh, in 1936, from January to December 36, he said that uh, clearly he did want to get involved in um, uh, politics, uh, um, but he couldn't actually do it. The reason he couldn't actually get involved in politics, um, he, he said that it's the tradition that the royal family doesn't actually do this. But he did show a great deal of concern for people in poorer areas who were affected by the unemployment of the 30s. And um, that, I thought, I think, is something which really sort of has uh, united the royal family with people who come from working class backgrounds. So I come from a working class background from, uh, and I, I'm pretty certain that everybody uh, um, of the dying would grew up with uh, was in front of the television all day yesterday watching the funeral on it. Uh, the Queen herself, that when she came to become Queen in 1952, the United Kingdom still had an empire. It's true that the jewel in the crown in India had gone, but none of the uh, uh, African countries which were occupied by the United Kingdom or part of the empire um, had become independent and were still very large areas in other parts of the world as well, such as uh, Malaya, um, uh, uh, or, um, uh, which were still uh, part of that empire. The Queen saw herself as being the titular head of this empire as being really important. Indeed, in the 1970s, when Trudeau was the Prime Minister of Canada, um, this uh, was, there was clearly, uh, when Trudeau was trying, uh, I believe, towards a republic. Uh, then uh, in getting rid of the Queen as head of state, then um, uh, this was something which uh, uh, upset her quite a lot. Indeed, uh, later in the 80s, when um, Margaret Thatcher's government seemed to want to support South Africa, and um, this upset many other countries within the Commonwealth, uh, then this was something which is alleged to have caused uh, a rift between um, Margaret Thatcher and the Queen, allegedly, because we don't really know. Uh, so, for me, I see it this, when the Queen came to power, or came, came to become monarch, I should say, because she didn't come to power, in 1952, uh, there was a very large British Empire. At the time of her death, now in 2022, it's as though the United Kingdom itself is on the verge of breaking up. Um, and that's the way I actually see it. So I think that that, uh, that, that is um, unfortunate. It's not her legacy. I mean, she did her best to hold the United Kingdom together. And, uh, and she did her best, I think, uh, to keep the Commonwealth together. I, uh, one thing is often quoted is the cost of the monarchy, and uh, I understand somebody told me today it was like two pounds a person per year, and given what that actually does for the constitutional um, guarantees that it, it gives, I think that that's uh, quite a small price to pay. Anyway, that's my opinion. So I've got here a question it says, is somebody paying you to say bad things about Russia? I don't see, I've never said anything bad about Russia. So anybody who thinks I'm saying think bad things about Russia is clearly not taking any uh, notice of anything that I'm saying. In fact, I just say good things about Russia. I say bad things about the current Russian, current Russian leadership, which is stealing from the Russian people, um, which has stolen vast amounts of wealth from the Russian people and taking it to countries such as the United Kingdom and its sort of more appointments offshore islands. Uh, so that is, uh, nobody's paying me to say 
bad things about uh, um, uh, any anyone. So anybody who thinks that uh, th those who are saying bad things about Russia are those in the Putin regime and those close to who are uh, assuming that uh, all Russians are bad and evil people when they are not. Uh, it's just one or two nasty people who unfortunately are in power right now. The same as, as this could happen to any 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 country that have some evil and nasty people in charge. So anyway, that uh, there, you, there you have that. Okay, um, thanks very much for watching. I shall, uh, that's my quick uh, um, tribute, if you like, to Queenie Elizabeth II. It wasn't really much of a, a, a tribute. Um, I have avoided that. I, I was going to say something about like Charles and Diana and uh, Charles and Camilla, but maybe I'll save that for a video some other time. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Dave. And um, there is a video on, 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 on Friday, which I filmed at the Homo Nad Nerem death camp, uh, although I might do one or two other live things. I really ought to do a live thing about Ukraine because some major things have happened. And I, I think that um, some of the things we said before about the Ukrainian army uh, being incapable of making a counter-attack have now been proven to be completely wrong. Uh, and I'm very glad to say I was completely wrong on that one. So uh, thanks for being with me and uh, all the best from me in Wrocław, Poland, uh, and I'll do um, next until the next uh, live stream. Oh, bye for now.